So I'm here with the Oma Naber, is that correctly or <laughs> how do you pronounce it? Oh no, no, that's correct. Oma that's Naber, correct. that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, from Slovenia. And? Jiga Pirnat, yeah. also from Slovenia. You're the composer, right? Co co composer and arranger, yeah. Well, I want to say, uh, first of all, welcome back to the Eurovision stage. It's been uh, 12 years since the last time. Uh, why did you decide to come back this year? Well, I uh, I would love to have uh, come back like many times before because I tried in the um, uh, in uh, pre-selections, national pre-selections, many times before. But this is this is one time that I've actually won again. So um, yeah, it's it's it has nothing to do with. Uh, deciding to come back now you know it, it just has to make uh, it's it's like you have to be lucky not only good enough to win you know what i mean so uh for me it's like uh i won for the f for the second time in five pre-selections you know of course i did i all I, i would always love to come back and i would always decide to come back you know it's not only this year 2017 but i'm very glad it happened Uh, what does Eurovision mean to you? Uh, oh, Eurovision itself, it means a lot to me because uh, it is a big part of my success, a big part of my career and a big part of my beginnings with uh, as a musician. And it's also, let's not forget, the biggest music festival in the world. So, of course, it's a big thing for me and I'm here for the second time now. Um, I've tried now for fifth times uh, for five times in national pre-selections but this is my actual second time on Eurovision and I'm very grateful for that so Eurovision has uh, means a lot to me really yeah and you're back in the city where, where it all started in, in Kiev That's right. uh, how does it feel to be back oh how does it feel it feels great wonderful actually because uh, because it some call it fate some call it a coincidence I'm back in Kiev and I'm not only back to Eurovision I'm actually back in Kiev Uh, I don't know if it's fate or coincidence, but I have to say that I'm very grateful that it happened and I'm very grateful that the stars are on my side so to get the second chance, to get the second opportunity. Can you tell us what are your expectations for, for your vision this year and what do you hope to achieve? Well, it's really hard to say. You know, it's hard to say because it's very unpredictable. The results are very... Um, not only unpredictable, but you never know which uh, which thing is going to be uh, in the spotlight. You know, maybe sometimes it's the singer, maybe sometimes it's the song, maybe sometimes it's trends, uh, sometimes it's the lyrics or the staging, or who who knows? You know, it's hard to say. It's hard to predict what is going to happen. But I consider a success. Uh, being on every vision and even if I come last, you know what I mean? But of course I would like to qualify to the final and maybe even win it, you never know. Can you tell us a bit about your, your song, you, you wrote it together? Oh, I actually wrote that song 10 years ago and um, I kept with it uh, for 10 years because I thought I wasn't mature enough back then when I wrote it like 10 years ago. I said to myself I have to be I have to um I have to be big enough in my head I have to be mentally uh, strong to pull it off because it's a hard song. Yeah. And uh, for those who haven't been here in the press center and have seen your rehearsals yeah. could you tell us a bit, bit about your performance and and what to expect? Oh the performance itself is going to be very simple, very simple, very intimate. Um I'm going to be alone on stage and I'm not going to do any big dance moves or something I'm just going to tr going to try to um, talk to the audience on four eyes you know what I mean with everybody uh, and I think a lot of people could ident could identify with the song or maybe even more with, uh, more so with this with the song lyrics uh, because I also believe that a lo lot of people are on their own way in a way you know what I mean And uh, it happens. It happens many times that uh, that when you have lyrics that people can can actually identify with them when you sing them, um, it can be a really big thing, and it could lead to a success. On my way, I'm never coming back, and I'll pray I'm never gonna. 
gonna crack World is calling out tonight Telling me I'll be alright Lights will guide you through the night Hi everybody, uh, my name is Omar Naber I come from Slovenia and I will be representing my country on Eurovision 2017 in Kiev with my song called On My Way. I hope you will like my song and I hope you will vote for me if you like it. Thank you so much and goodbye to all Danish Eurovision fans.